on guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in today's video, it's a pretty cool because it's my first requested video from a friend that goes to the same gym as me. Uh, what's up Seth? Uh, basically what I'm gonna go over is um, duck feet, which is a type of just imbalance, uh, posture distortion that maybe you have or maybe even some of you know have, you, you know has, and you can kind of share this video with them to help them out. You know, because obviously having an imbalance like that, um, having your feet super externally rotated, uh, and not really be able to kind of keep them at a neutral position or just, you know, internally rotate them a little bit um, to get in better positions for squats and deadlifts and things like that uh, can really kind of uh, mess with your progression and it can definitely, definitely mess with your knees, you know. A lot of people will come to me with knee pain, which is exactly what my friend did. Um, and I'm looking at, you know, all I had him do was walk towards me. Uh, just like normal normal footsteps and you know what I saw was just a crazy external rotation of his feet um, if he tried to keep them straight it was very uncomfortable you know so and, and also um, the first thing you know he wanted to do was you know get um, straps for his knees or, or um, like sleeves for, for squatting because his knees hurt but honestly things like that when you have situations like this it's really good to kind of look at yourself and see any kind of faulty postural the situation you may have you may have going just because um, you don't want to just you know temporarily postpone the issue because it's over time if you keep doing that same kind of pattern overload with that faulty movement get your that got you in this some um, duck feet in the first place then the situation is just gonna get worse over time you know um, so basically what I'm gonna do here today is uh, help you fix this issue uh, it's a pretty easy protocol um, but again it takes time because it didn't take, you know, a few weeks for you to get into this bad posture. It took years of just some um, bad positioning and just, like I said, it's kind of like faulty pattern throughout your day. So um, basically what happens when your feet are externally rotated like this is um, you have you have underactive muscles, you have overactive muscles. Your overactive muscles, if you can guess, would be your, um, basically your two major muscles would be your piriformis, which sits underneath your, your glute max and then also your quadratus femoris, uh, which is also an external rotator, a big external rotator. So uh, what we're gonna do, uh, since those are overactive and they're, they're always trying to take over, um, even just standing in place or any kind of movement you may try to do, uh, we're gonna try and um, find some trigger points uh, with the foam roller and also a lacrosse ball, and then, um, or softball, whatever you have. And then when we break up that tissue, that's good, that's gonna relieve some stress here. And we're gonna try and do the opposite we're going to try and strengthen the you know the adductor longus the um your your hip flexor muscles uh to try and create balance in the hips right because once again when, when the feet come out it all starts off you always want to think from the hips down because this is where it's going to start from for the most part um and what that's going to do is again alleviate any knee pain you may have and it'll help you sit in a better position for your exercises and just walking in general so number one uh, we want to clear up and try and break apart some overactive tissue. Uh, so what we're going to do is use a, this is a rumble roller. Uh, your gyms probably have one of these or a foam roller. And if you don't, you can even use a PVC pipe, which is kind of aggressive. But um, again, you can just apply the pressure of your body weight to how you feel. Obviously, don't overdo it, kind of work into it. But if you have this type of posture, um, nonetheless, you're going to feel some sort of pain and discomfort. But over time, it should kind of die down if you're on a if you do this on a consistent basis so basically what i'm going to do again the muscles that we're looking to target are kind of like the lower um, side of your butt cheek so i'm going to basically just be rolling out these suckers here uh, so hopefully you can see me again i'm just gonna get down on it oh yep 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 okay yeah you can feel that probably right off the bat i don't have that type of um imbalance but i do have tight glutes so this definitely is i'm feeling it so again, low, low side of your butt cheek, and even coming into, um, not your IT band, don't go straight out to the side, but right below it, kind of working into the, uh, the side of your hamstrings. That's a really good area to try and work out. Just because again, all these tissues, all these muscles are connected. So um, we wanna just get those external rotators to kind of uh, stop working so hard, stop being overstressed, you know? So that's number one. Uh, number two, what I would suggest is basically the same thing. Uh, once you kind of um, get blood flow to the area with the foam roller, which is a little less aggressive than a lacrosse ball or softball, then I would take the lacrosse ball um, and then do the same thing. Just apply pressure. Obviously, if it hurts, 
I don't know, the first thing you wanna do is jump off of it, but try and get some pressure onto that particular area and um, just work through it. Sit down there for like, you know, two, three minutes and just give it some small movement just to, again, um, break up that, that over overworked tissue, you know? On uh, number two, we're also gonna use a foam roller, or you could use a Swiss ball as well, but uh, what I'm gonna do is this, it's pretty basic. I'm just gonna lay down. I'm gonna put the foam roller between my legs, and all I'm gonna do is try and break this thing. I'm gonna, again, internal rotator, so I'm trying to push my knees in and create a contraction basically on your, not your groin area, but like your inner inner thighs, you know? And for this, I would recommend like just honestly like a minute of just squeezing the foam roller. And you should feel, I mean, my legs are shaking now because I'm trying to put a lot of force. I'm just trying to get these muscles to fire as much as I can. And again, going back to, um, well, I didn't say this earlier, but uh, reciprocal inhibition, right? We basically turned off our external rotators with this foam. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My video was shut off because I guess I had uh, limited space in my phone, so I just deleted some photos. But as I was saying um, before, uh, it's called reciprocal inhibition, right? So basically what we did in the beginning was turn off our hip flexors, or not hip flexors, I'm sorry. Uh, turned off our external rotators with the with the foam roller, and then we, we really activated our uh, internal rotators with the foam roller as well. Uh, again, reciprocal inhibition just means if I'm firing these guys, these guys have no choice but the lengthening. So that's exactly what we did. Again, we want to turn off, turn on. Um, yeah, that's basically what I would um, what I would go over. Uh, that's basically, I mean, what I would what I would do for that situation. That's the protocol I would give. Uh, not too many things. I, I wouldn't throw you so many different movements just because it's, there's no no there's no need to do that. You know, um, we just want a few movements that we can do um, consistently that won't take a year and a day because. Uh, Again, who wants to really do these types of movements after their workout when they just busted their butt, you know? So, um, yeah, that's what I would do. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully that helped you, Zeth. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, and again, if you know someone with this type of posture or maybe their knees hurt, maybe send this to them, um, share with them just so they can you know, fix themselves so they can improve their overall performance in the gym um, and just keep them injury free now and in the future. Um, yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, if you want me to go over a video you may have questions on or anything, because um, I could talk about it, um, demonstrate ways to fix an issue or do an exercise, uh, whatever you need, I'll just I'll put it out there, you know? Um, yeah, so basically, uh, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. I do weekly videos, kind of like this, um, workouts that I do myself here, um, and also soon I'm gonna start training clients and filming them uh, to put them on YouTube so you guys can see what I do with my clients. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, until the next video guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.